On today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. I'm going to give you 18 different examples of days worth of food. Everything from May 14th to May 31st of just things that I would normally eat, all right? Uh, making sure we're getting all the nutrients, all the vitamins, all the minerals, uh, so we're not deficient long term or even in the short term. So check it out. Um, before we get into that, th th I'm going to give you six things to consider here. So when you're looking at this chronometer, there's a lot to look at, right? So I want to help you understand and break down what we're looking at here. So first things first, never mind sodium. All right, you'll notice right here off the bat, sodium is a little low, it's only 44%. Everyone has different sodium needs, uh, and, and you can start adapting to requiring less sodium over time. So if you're not usually consuming sodium, your body can get by with less. If you're always having sodium, your body probably needs a bit more. But never mind sodium. Um, if you want to add salt, go right ahead, add sea salt or add you know, Himalayan crystal cave salt or whatever. Um, but some people need a lot less than others. So don't worry about sodium. Also, never mind B12. You can easily supplement with B12. I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, it doesn't matter what diet you're on. Supplementing with B12 is a good idea. And I say that because about 80% of Americans are B12 deficient. 80% of all Americans B12 deficient. That doesn't mean 80% of Americans are fruitarian or raw vegan or vegan. It just means that 80% of the population in general in America is B12 deficient. So uh, I recommend supplementing with it. You can use methylcobalamin. Again, link for that is in the description. Uh, third thing is never mind vitamin D. Just like most people are B12 deficient, most people are also vitamin D deficient, but you can get enough of this hormone. It's actually a hormone, not really a vitamin. You can get enough of this hormone by getting out in the sunlight between June, July, or in June, July, and August, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, like America or Canada, um, or you can just get a vitamin D supplement. So vitamin D3, specifically. Fourth thing is, never mind iodine or iodine. Um, chronometer doesn't have any foods with it. If you try and add iodine to the chronometer uh, listing, it'll tell you, it'll ask you, like, are you sure you want to add this? We don't have that many foods in our database containing iodine. Um, that's because most people, when they add food to chronometer, they don't, they don't add the iodine factor in there, iodine factor. Um, but if you want iodine, you can easily supplement with it, or you can just jump in the ocean, a lot of iodine in the ocean, put some water in your mouth, um, or just eat high-quality produce grown in iodine-rich soil. But uh, it doesn't hurt to supplement with a small amount of it. I definitely would not supplement with too much of it, though you can run into some issues. Fifth thing is every day doesn't need to be perfect. So I'm going to show you 18 perfect days, but your days don't need to look like what I'm about to show you. Your days can be like low in some things and high in others, and it doesn't really matter. It's instead of aiming for perfection every single day, uh, the way you're going to get perfection is by having variety. Um, the way to have that is to, I think, is you can aim for variety throughout the week and the month. So let's say one day you're focused primarily on fruit. The next day, if you want to add in way more greens, go ahead and do that. Um, the day that you just had fruit, you might be low in some minerals, and the day that you have way more greens, you might be lower in some vitamins. But overall, it's gonna balance out. So aim for variety throughout the week and the month rather than every single day, and definitely don't aim for perfection every single meal. That's gonna mess your digestion up big time. Uh, humans are better off digesting simple meals. And a simple meal might be deficient in something, but it doesn't matter because you can make up for it later in the day or the following day or the following week. Uh, number six, the sixth thing to keep in mind is if you want to do a seven-day raw vegan diet with me, which I believe is the healthiest diet on the planet, it's the one I've been eating for the past 10 years, you can join me by uh, the link in the description. I'm putting together a seven-day raw vegan cleanse. It's a summer cut that I'm doing starting tonight. Uh, it's a diet program, it's a workout program, and it's a detox program all in one. And when you sign up, you're getting group coaching from me, you're getting a shopping list to know exactly what to buy, you're getting exclusive members-only videos from me, 14 of those, uh, one for every morning, one for every evening for the seven days, uh, getting community access to other people who are doing fruit cleansing, you're getting a workout guide, you're getting an audiobook, and you're getting over 50 kick-ass recipes to try out and a few more little goodies in there. So with that said, let's get right into it. Uh, here is chronometer, and here is a perfect day in the life of what I would eat. So, uh, when persimmons are in season, again, though, by the way, I don't know if I said this, but these 18 days I'm about to show you, um, I didn't actually eat these things, but these are things that I could and would and will happily eat in a day in the life. So I'll film myself eating these things um, in the coming days here. But these are just some examples, some templates that you can follow uh, to make sure you know you're getting in all the nutrients that you need. So, nine persimmons, two heads of romaine, well, three tablespoons of hemp seeds, two bunches of spinach, uh, a cup of mushrooms, and one single Brazil nut. What are you getting with that? 
well, every single vitamin, every single nutrient that you need, aside from the ones, of course, like we mentioned, a little so low in sodium, it's okay. Uh, vitamin D, you're going to get that. A little bit in mushrooms, actually, um, but uh, mostly from your supplement and getting out in sunlight. And then B12, of course, you can supplement with. But all this talk about not getting enough amino acids, I mean, they're all here. All the talk about not getting enough fats, they're all here. Omega-6, don't worry about being high on omega-6 either. You actually want that a lot lower than your omega-3s. This is perfect here. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it for this. And this is a really low calorie day. You might say, oh my God, it's only 1,600 calories. Yeah, I want to give an example of even on a really low calorie day, like 1,600 calories, you can still meet all of your vitamin and mineral needs. Next day, what do we got? This is a 2,000 calorie day, and uh, we've got 10 bananas, 15 dates. If you're having dates, I recommend soaking them in water for 24 to 48 hours, or even longer, keeping them in the fridge while they're soaking, so they blend up a lot easier. Uh, two heads of romaine, two bunches of spinach, one single Brazil nut, uh, two tablespoons of daily green boost, which is one serving, two cups of coconut water, uh, three tablespoons of hemp seeds, uh, a little bit of sea salt if you want, um, a B12 supplement and a vitamin D supplement, and you scroll down and we see you have absolutely everything. 66 grams of protein. And uh, yeah, my tons of calcium. People talking about not getting enough calcium. Plenty of iron. 496% of your daily value of iron. Um, plenty of zinc. And, uh, you know, 236% of your daily value of selenium. So that's pretty cool. Next day, what do we got? Oh, we got a 1900 calorie day and we've got apples. We've got uh, three medium sized apples. We got five oranges and we got five bananas. This is what I want to do like an average, like, you know, like people talk about fruit. They think, oh, you're just eating apples, oranges, and bananas. Well, yeah, you can do that. Eat three apples, eat five oranges, eat five bananas, have a Brazil nut, have um, three tablespoons of hemp seeds, throw some flax seeds in there, throw some chia seeds in there, um, have a couple dates, have a head of spinach, have a couple bunches of. Uh, sorry, a head of romaine and a couple bunches of spinach. And um, what do you know? Bada bing, bada boom. Looking good, man. 2,000 calorie day. Getting plenty of zinc, plenty of selenium. Look at all that manganese. Look at all that magnesium. Look at all that iron, man. 435%. All the proteins you need there, all the amino acids. Let's check out the next day here. Okay, we've got another uh, about 2,100 calorie day. 10 cups of coconut water, so super high water content. 100 cherry tomatoes. We've got uh, an avocado. We've got um, six or 645 calories worth of papayas, which is approximately, I'm guessing, about uh, each papaya is around 100 calories. Yeah, it's about six papayas, maybe seven papayas. Uh, three heads of romaine. It's a lot of romaine today. But you notice there's no spinach. And then we got um, a Brazil nut. I went to the gym for an hour. And here we've got everything once again. Look at that. Plenty of sodium this time coming from the coconut water. Um, and uh, yeah, man, plenty of iron coming from the lettuce. And uh, 67 grams of protein. All right. And this day is, yeah, 22% of your calories coming from fat. Next day. Okay. Four cups of coconut water, a mango, uh, a watermelon, 35 cups of watermelon. That's approximately one and a half watermelon because it's 1,000 calories. Approximately one and a half watermelon, five stalks of celery, some daily green boost, one single Brazil nut, one uh, serving of hemp seeds, which is three tablespoons, two bunches of spinach, a head of romaine, and then some naked pea protein in here for those of you who want um, extra protein. So it's two scoops, two by two scoops, so it's four scoops total of naked pea protein um, in addition to everything else, and you're getting 127 grams of protein from everything. Um, yeah, the watermelon alone was 20, 21 grams, but the naked pea protein brings it up by 54 grams. So it's a super high protein day here. Uh, and what else are we getting? We're getting lots of uh, lots of copper, man. 451%, mostly from the watermelon and the spinach. So tons of everything. And vitamin K, massive day of vitamin K, mostly coming from the spinach and the lettuce, and as well as the daily green boost. Very cool day there. Next up, we've got another coconut water day, starting off with three cups. We're having some papayas, 10 large papayas, having a kiwi, having some celery, daily green boost, a Brazil nut, uh, six tablespoons of hemp seeds today, some baby spinach, and again, some naked pea protein, and uh, 112 grams of protein for the day total. 
and bada bing bada boom. Now I normally don't do protein powder, it tends to give me gas, uh, I don't feel like I need it, I just wanted to throw it in here just to show you how much protein you really can get just with two servings of this naked pea protein. Uh, next day, what do we've got? We've got a very simple day, super simple in the ingredients, coming up in 1800 calories, just over. Um, so we've got papayas, we've got spinach, we've got brazil nut, we've got hemp seed, that's it. Papaya, spinach, Brazil nut, hemp seed. Super, super simple. Are we make sure we're going to hit everything? Oh my God, we hit everything. Nothing is missing. We're getting 72 grams of protein without the protein powder. We're getting all our minerals. We're getting all our vitamins. Tons of vitamin K. Look at that. Whew. Spinach has got so much vitamin K in there. Um, so a very, very simple day. Just papayas, spinach, Brazil nuts, and hemp seeds. 75% um, carbs, 14% fat, and then 11% protein. Uber simple day. Love that. Next day, another pretty simple day. Watermelon, spinach, lettuce, Brazil nut, hemp seeds. Coming up perfect once again. No worries about the low sodium. Just add in a little bit of salt in there if you want it or just drink some more coconut water or some celery juice or eat some celery if you like that. But uh, nice, 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 nice. Everything's perfect here. Um, May 22nd, look at this. We even got some spirulina in here. If you want to throw in some spirulina, 20 tablespoons, which is just 135 calories worth. Um, I'm not a big fan of spirulina, it doesn't taste that great, but some people like it, some people throw it in there, so I just wanted to show some spirulina, some love. Uh, we got spirulina, we got oranges, we got hemp seeds, Brazil nuts, tomatoes, which I freaking love, and spinach. It's a pretty simple day, and again, coming up, everything perfect. Not missing any vitamins or minerals, getting 94 grams of protein, man. Where, where's all that protein coming from? It's coming from uh, the hemp seeds and the spirulina. That's where the protein comes from today. A bit higher fat for sure, 23% fat today, um, and 14% protein, just 64% carbs, which is fine. Again, you don't need to be perfect every day or every meal. I mean, there is no such thing as like perfect. It's always changing depending on the person, depending on your goals. But um, this is fine, 64% carbs, no worries. You're probably going to find that you have more mental clarity, more feeling of lightness on the days when you're a bit higher in carbs. And uh, when you're a bit higher in fat, like a day like today, you might just feel a bit more dense, a bit, bit, bit more strong. Uh, May 23rd, a lot of stuff here. We've got watermelon, mixed greens, Brazil nuts, apricots. So 50 apricots. I love apricots. Eat a ton of these in the summer. Easily eat 50. It's only 840 calories worth anyway. Uh, hemp seeds, daily green boost, tomatoes, um, red bell pepper. Love those. And some celery juice. Shout out medical medium. What have we got? Boom. 82 grams of protein, man, that's plenty. If you want to build muscle, 82 grams of protein is plenty. Anytime you're up around the 100 gram mark, that's pretty, pretty big. It's pretty up there. Um, so, yeah, everything's accounted for tons of zinc, tons of selenium, potassium, phosphorus, manganese, magnesium, iron, copper, and calcium. Everything's accounted for here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, look at this uber simple day three ingredients cantaloupe. Brazil nut, spinach. Okay, so 10 cantaloupes, one Brazil nut, three bunches of spinach. You might think, Ted, 10 cantaloupes, that's so many cantaloupes. It's only 1,800 calories worth. These cantaloupes are just medium sized, they're not big, it's easy to get through. Um, it may be hard to get through if you're doing intermittent fasting, like if you're doing a four hour eating window, but if you start eating these cantaloupes at 10 a.m. and you go until 6 p.m., you know, it's an eight hour eating window, definitely possible to get in 10 cantaloupes, no problem. You throw in a Brazil nut there for dessert, and uh, throughout the day, you might be munching on some spinach, and look what you get. A full day, 76 grams of protein, that's fantastic. Um, tons of potassium. And you might be wanting to tell, how can all these things are in the red? Isn't that dangerous? No, your body just pisses these things out, man. There's no worries. There's no worries. Your body gets rid of excess. Um, no problem. So that looks like a super perfect day, and only three ingredients, man. That is just... Epic. I love that. Cantaloupe, Brazil nut, spinach. So any, next time anyone comes up to you and says, hey, you're going to be deficient on a fruitarian diet, you say, not if I'm eating 10 cantaloupes, one Brazil nut, and three bunches of spinach. I'm perfect, man. I'm set. Look at that. Absolutely everything. All right. Um, so next, what do we got? We have apple juice. We have dates. We got hemp seeds. Now, I went to Burning Man one time, and that's all I ate. For the entire six days at Burning Man, I just ate pasture, I just drank pasteurized apple juice, I ate dried dates, and I ate hemp seeds. That's all I ate for the entire Burning Man. And uh, at the end of Burning Man, I was like on the, on the fifth day or sixth day, I had three people come up to me and ask me, hey, where's the shower? And I didn't know what they were talking about. They're like, why are you asking me where the shower is? 
And so the first person asked me, I was like, I don't know, sorry. Next person asked me, I was like, oh my God, it's coincidental. Like I had two people ask me that already. Then by the time the third person asked me, hey, where's the shower? I was like, why is everyone asking me where the shower is? I don't know. And she's like, because you look so clean. I was like, oh, of course I'm clean. I'm only eating apple juice, dates, and hemp seeds. So there's no like grease coming out of me. There's no nastiness coming out of me and then the dust sticking to me. So if I had stuck with that same diet and thrown in three bunches of spinach each day and a, and a single Brazil nut, I would have been absolutely perfect. All right, would have been absolutely perfect. I couldn't get the fresh spinach out there because in Burning Man, in the middle of the desert, there is no fresh food. So I had to have the apple juice, dates, and hemp seed. These things last forever. But I was just uh, three bunches of spinach away and a single Brazil nut away from being absolutely perfect on my um, chronometer here. All right, next day, what do we got? We got spinach, dates, coconut water, and chia seeds. Another super simple day, right? Super simple day. And look at this, 69 grams of protein. Uh, tons of calcium, tons of copper, tons of iron, tons of magnesium, everything your body needs to thrive. And look at that awesome ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. That's perfect right there. Super good ratio. Um, everything else looks good, man. Next, we've got bananas, avocados, coconut water, spinach, lettuce, hemp seeds. Basic day, super basic day, super typical for me right here. 2200 calories, a bit high fat though, 33% fat because you're getting in this avocado as well as these hemp seeds. Um, and that's quite a, quite a lot of hemp seeds, you know, it's 500 calories worth of hemp seeds. Um, but, you know, from time to time, this could be um, a perfect day in the winter. I wouldn't really do this in the summertime, but in the wintertime, this is totally up my alley right here. So definitely a high fat day, only 55% carbs, but um, we're coming up good with uh, the amount of protein we're getting here and 100% um, on the selenium. And everything else looks pretty damn good. The omega sixes are a little high. Omega sixes are a little high, um, but it's not to worry. Again, you don't need to have perfect days every day, but for the most part, this looks pretty damn perfect to me. Next day, we've got cucumbers. Oh my god, cucumbers! Ten cucumbers. Yeah, easy. Peel those up, and then you. Uh, or it says with peel, so you leave the peel on, spiralize them, and you make cucumber noodles. And then you blend up a bunch of apricots. Blend up forty apricots. Blend up some spinach. Blend up some sunflower seeds and you pour it on top and there's your dinner. So you got cucumbers, apricots, spinach, and sunflower seeds for dinner. Add some basil in there if you want, a little bit of salt in there if you want, add some spice if you want. Um, but that's dinner. And then throughout the day, you're just drinking 10 cups of coconut water. Coming up with 1,900 calories and coming up flawless on everything here. So that's pretty damn good. Oh, 1% shy of enough omegas, <laughs> enough omega-3s. So no worries. You just add in another half half tablespoon of sunflower seeds and oh, omega threes are still down there I wonder why well, I guess we just need to throw in one more cucumber is that going to do the trick yeah I'll do the trick another cucumber and you're, you're set but yeah everything uh, else is perfect here 93 grams of protein for a 2000 calorie day that's insane really really cool 93 grams of protein man see you don't need protein powder man this is a perfect day right here cucumbers apricot spinach coconut water sunflower seeds you're getting almost 100 grams of protein. Uh, next, zucchini. You, uh, you spiralize up zucchini. You blend up some fresh mango, blend up some spinach, blend up some sunflower seeds with some basil. Drink your coconut water throughout the day, and you're getting everything. All right, another perfect day. A couple more here. Uh, big variety day. You're getting lettuce, spinach, red bell peppers, almond butter, watermelon, tomato, cantaloupe, a Brazil nut, coconut water, and some hemp seeds, daily green boost, B12 and vitamin D supplement, and another perfect day with 83 grams of protein. Yeah, the watermelon alone is 25 grams of protein. Last day here, last example, the 18th example. Uh, you get watermelon, apricots, 100 apricots, 1600 calories worth. So most of the calories today coming from apricots, uh, cucumbers, sunflower seeds, coconut water, and hemp seeds and it's a big day it's a whopping day I want to put this at the end to show you what it looks like when you're bulking so if you're getting in uh, 3200 calories or 3300 calories I should say this is what your day can look like see over 100 grams of protein easy most of which is coming from the apricots and that's that man that's that super super simple so I want to also compare with you all these days I just showed you which they're all mostly around 2000 calories okay so 2300 2100, 2000, 2200, 1900, 2700, big day there, uh, 2100, 2100, 2000, 1900, 1800, 
2,500, 2,200, 2,100, 1,900, 2,000, and 1,600. Okay, should we start off with the 1,600 calorie day? Um, and again, we've got everything. But you compare that to a carnivore diet, right? Average carnivore diet, they're having beef liver, they're having beef brains, they're having salmon, they're having chicken, they're having milk, they're having eggs, they're having some beef steak. I don't know if they have all this stuff in a single day even, but I just wanted to give them benefit of the doubt, give them a lot of variety. Um, so it's 44% fat, 6% carbs, and 50% protein, which is exactly what they want. That's what they're going for. Um, but you see they're coming up very short on a lot of things. They're only getting half the amount of folate they should be getting, only getting half the amount of vitamin C they should be getting, um, not quite nearly enough vitamin E, not no, like no vitamin K apparently. Um, not sure why that's so freaking low. Uh, calcium, only 71% daily value. Magnesium coming up low. Manganese, extremely low. Potassium, pretty damn low. Uh, sodium, like I said, it doesn't matter about sodium because they can add some salt if they want. Um, Omega-3 to 6 ratio is fantastic. Looks pretty damn good to me. Um, and then 273 grams of protein, which is completely unnecessary. Nobody needs 273 grams of protein when they're trying to build muscle. So I'm not sure what they're getting at here. I don't really know what all the hype is about this. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see for yourself. And uh, if you know more than I do about carnivorism or the carnivore diet, then post in the comments. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys an example. It's 2,000 calories worth of animal products versus 1,600 calories worth of fresh fruits and vegetables. And uh, clearly the fresh fruits and vegetables got everything you need. Um, just add in a vitamin D uh, supplement or a drop. Add in a B12 supplement and completely set, man. Completely set. And if you want to add in uh, some celery juice, because the medical medium says that stuff's really good, you can add in Say four cups of celery juice, plenty, and look at that. Sodium's complete. Everything's complete. So that's that for the day. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and if it was, awesome. Subscribe for more. I'll give you some more stuff coming up in the near future. And again, if you want to join the seven-day raw vegan cleanse, then you'll want to uh, check out the link in the bio for some group coaching from me. You get a full shopping list. I mean, you already kind of know what to buy based on all these chronometers, but shopping list for the cleanse specifically, uh, daily exclusive member videos from me, community access, a workout guide, an audio book that you can listen to while you go for your walks, 50 kick-ass recipes to try out, and some more cool stuff. So that's that. Thank you very much. Peace out. Much love.